we're going to continue our part and make a drawing from it. So once you have completed the part, we'll go to File, Make Drawing from Part. Let's select Tutorial and we'll select Draw. We're going to set up the sheet. So right click your sheet one and select Properties. We'd like this to be a standard sheet size and our scale for now is going to be one to one. Make sure that it's a landscape and also you're in third angle. We'll uncheck and select a landscape. Apply the changes. Our next step is to edit the sheet format. So we can right click here, click edit sheet format. Once everything is selected, let's just hit delete. We should have a blank sheet right now. And we'll still see all of our tables here in the sheet format. If you have a border, right click and delete that. We'll create a new border by going to the sketch menu and doing a corner rectangle. We'll line that up corner to corner. From here, we can create a custom table just by using lines. So I'll lock in this top line here. I need a few divisions and I'll make quarter inch height uh, gaps. Quickly divide out all of my parts. That should cover most of the dimensions for this part. From here, you can add in your notes. So we'll go to the annotation tab and I'll select A for note. This block area here. We can also put in other text fields. So by adding a few notes, you can insert a bunch of different things. Once you have everything lined up to your liking, and you can right click and hide any of your particular dimensions. And that's a much cleaner look. With our basic outline in place, we can save this. We can also add some property links throughout. So make sure that you've added those as you're continuing um, as needed. We're just gonna save this as a template. So we'll say file, save as, and under drawing, make sure you save that as a template. 
Now we can start placing our model. And in this particular model, we have a few different views that we're looking for. Let's start by looking at a base model view. Make sure you're in edit sheet. We'll go to model view. We'll choose the right part. And let's then pick the view that we're looking for. And I think we're gonna want the left view. We'll use a three four scale. So go to use custom. And if they don't have three four listed, go to user defined. And we'll make a slightly smaller part. You can place your view in your sheet and it's asking for a project to do. now we're going to create a section view so roll over to the tab for a section view and it wants us to create a vertical line. We're gonna to try to split this right down the middle. So you can line that up with your vertical and then you can just hit the check mark. And you can see it populates that view to the side. We'll also make sure that if you scroll down that hidden lines are removed. And this will give us a much cleaner section. When we place this, it also gives us the option for auto hatching. So that's these uh, diagonal lines and we'll keep those in. Once you've placed, you can hit escape and you have your section view. We'll also place a projected view off the base view. So click projected view, select your item and then place that projected view. You may have to adjust how your views are oriented. So I'm gonna move these guys down a little, move the section view and move this guy in this corner. That gives me a much cleaner view. In my projected view here, I want to also change this to hidden lines removed so I get a much cleaner view. What we can do again is grab our model dimension. So under annotation, we'll click model items and under selected feature, we'll say entire model and import into all views. We also want to make sure we eliminate dimensions, uh, duplicates. And from here, you can see all of those dimensions from our previous example and that nice angular dimension for the first hole. Feel free to adjust these to clean them up. That gives me the majority of my dimensions needed. Feel free to go back and check them. We'll save this as a drawing file. And know that anytime you want to go back to that original parent document and change something like in this case, we'll look at our feature and let's make sure we have six holes. We'll update that view and build it. And when we go to save and update the 
sheet, we can see that we have six holes automatically populated. So we have some associated uh, functionality between the two of these.